And this just into our newsroom, the White House announcing brand new military aid to Ukraine. The new package, which was previously authorized, includes about 200 million in military equipment, including air defense, artillery, tank ammunition, weapons, and other equipment to help Ukraine in its nearly 18-month war that Russia started. In announcing the package, Secretary of State Antony Blinken said every day Russia is killing Ukrainian civilians and destroying civil infrastructure, while also weaponizing hunger and contributing to global food insecurity through its destruction of Ukraine's civilian ports and grain infrastructure. Russia started this war and could end it at any time by withdrawing its forces from Ukraine and stopping its brutal attacks. Until it does, the United States and our allies and partners will stand united with Ukraine for as long as it takes. Joining us now for more, retired Major General William Inyart. So, General, uh, first, what is your take on this new aid package? Thank you for hopping on with us. Well, absolutely good to be with you this morning. Uh, the bulk of this package is composed of uh, Stinger uh, anti-aircraft missiles and Javelin anti-tank missiles. Those are both uh, manpower-operated. Uh, uh, that is, they can be carried by, by a, a one person, actually. Generally, it's a crew of two, a gunner and an ammunition bearer. Uh, but the Stinger has uh, – these are both – uh, what I would classify more as defensive weapons and offensive weapons. We've supplied lots of those already to the Ukrainians. Uh, the Stinger's got an anti-aircraft range of about five miles. Uh, the cost on those run about $120,000 a piece. Uh, those have been in use uh, by our forces since the early 80s. Uh, the Javelin, uh, the anti-tank weapon, that has a, a range, if it's fired by, by a man, uh, of, of about two and a half miles. If you fire it from a vehicle, it's about a three-mile range. Those run about two hundred to two hundred fifty thousand dollars a piece, and have been in use since about nineteen ninety six. And we've made over forty five thousand of those. Uh, so they're they're they've been proven effective. Uh, they're in use by our forces and, and other NATO forces, as well as other nations around the world. Uh, and uh, these will uh, these weapons will enable the the Ukrainians to uh, continue defending themselves against uh, Russian tanks and Russian helicopters Are and you uh, slower flying aircraft. Are you surprised by this announcement, uh, Major General? I know Republicans have been pushing back against some of this continued funding. Uh, does this fall in line with what you'd expect? Oh, yes. This is money that's already been been funded. This is we're simply fulfilling what we've already said we would do. So this is this is really this is not new money. Uh, this is simply uh, filling out the package that we'd already agreed to provide. And it's and it's an announcement of what we're sending. So uh, this is really not uh, uh, any uh, any new money uh, going out. All right. Retired Major General William Inyard, thank you so much for your perspective and for hopping on the call. Absolutely. Great to be with you this morning. Take care. Great to be with you. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.